I was like a really young child, my senses were all really, really mixed up. I basically, I'd be hypersensitive to a lot of things. A lot of noises that weren't particularly loud to me would be extra loud. A lot of lights to me would be extremely bright and really hurt my eyes. And I just all around found the world a terrifying place. I don't look especially different from other people, I just behave very differently. So most of the time, unless people know a lot about autism, they don't necessarily think I'm on the autistic spectrum. They just think when my autism does come out, that I'm a bit on the odd side. All of the food in this picture is all orange. All except for the banana. Now let's just say that I am the banana. Yes, that's right, I am the banana. Today I'm going to be talking about my experiences of having autism. And as Henry VIII said to his wife, I won't keep you for long. I mean, if you didn't have a clue, would you have been able to tell which one of those three has autism? <laughs> Is it that obvious? I mean, grommets are dogs, so maybe he doesn't really count. But I don't think I really look like I've got a disability, do I? Wallace, on the other hand, he does not look normal. I mean, look at his mouth, it's like out here. Plus, obsessions is a very common trait of autism. And does anyone here know what Wallace is obsessed with? Inventions and machinery and cheese crackers. You're spot on, <laughs> yeah. It's very rare for someone to actually list all of their of the, of his obsessions. <laughs> of course, I'm not like other people. Uh, there are times when it just does come out and I can't really stop it from coming out. Just like a wolf can't pretend to be a grandma. <laughs> okay, it's actually not a wolf, it's actually our pet dog who's a <laughs> For example, not long ago, in our kitchen, in our house, there were some, there were some pan lids that were hung up right next to the fridge door. And every time the fridge door opened, they made this horrible noise that I was really irritated by. I opened the fridge, and I kept on being confronted by this noise. Opened it again, and the noise came again. And I thought, eventually I thought, right, something has to be done about those pan lids, they are going. So I went to my mum and said, you know, I really think that we should take down those pan lids, because that, that noise is just really irritating. And you know what my mum said? She said, what noise? I didn't hear any noise. What noise do you mean? But I, I was like, how can you not notice that noise? It was just really, really torture. See, how anyone could completely miss that no noises like that is completely beyond me. Now this picture is quite unusual, isn't it? It's a very odd photo. It's taken in a very odd position. Autism is like this. It's a very unique thing to have, but I don't think it's a bad thing to have. Even though autistic people have a lot of difficulties, they actually often do have gifts that you don't find in 